I was not expecting this game to be as good as it was. Looks like it'd be a mildly entertaining meme game, but it turns out, despite it not being finished, it's probably one of the best RPG Maker games I've played. I should probably elaborate, though. Bebador Game, Bebador and the Rest is an in-development RPG made by developer Cat Snap Twice, also known as Bebdor Game, shockingly. Starring Bender from Futurama, renamed as Bebdor for some reason. Weeds at Windington hates it so much that he goes on a crusade to kill the CEO. After that, the plot is a little hard to explain because it doesn't really have a central narrative. <laughs> the main antagonist of the game is the owner of a company called KYS Co., which stands for Keep Yourself Safe, obviously. He really wants to kill Bebdor for some reason, he goes to excruciating lengths to do that. Also, Bebdor is joined by Homer Simpson shortly into the game, renamed as Domer. I'm not going to spoil any plot details past that, since it's got a very fun story and its best experience blind. One thing I was definitely not expecting was the combat. Most RPG Maker games, including some of the best ones such as Off and Space Funeral, still have pretty terrible combat. Even games like Jimmy and the Pulsating Mastodon, in my opinion, decent combat, still don't do much original with it, but somehow in Bebdor game, Despite being made in RPG Maker 2003, one of the most primitive RPG Maker engines, manages to have very fun combat. It uses a timed battle system with fairly standard stuff all around, except for Bebner's standard attack, which uses a very unique timed button system to determine how much damage it deals. Sort of like Paper Mario. It doesn't sound like much, but it does quite a large amount of fun with the combat, making it a little more involved than just spamming attack. The combat's, pr combat's pretty well done apart from that, too, though. The other major mechanic of it is the hate meter, which fills up slowly across 200 turns, which go across battles thickly. Once it fills, you can use it to buff Bebter's attack stats significantly, as well as giving him regeneration. It's very helpful. The gameplay outside of the combat mostly revolves around exploring areas and solving occasional puzzles. The puzzles are definitely pretty decent, and I will admit I had to look at how to do a couple of them, although in hindsight the solutions seem fairly obvious. The areas are well designed too. Not much to say about them, but just laid out well. Unfortunately, though, I have to get to the only major negative I have with the game, which is the saving system. Basically, you can only save with items called disposable cameras, which cost around $200, which in most RPGs isn't much, but the enemies don't drop a ton of money in it, and the vending machines you can buy them at are, pretty, are spread pretty far apart, which made lose progress a couple times. It's not a huge deal, but I think I could do with some reworking. The writing in this game is pretty fantastic. It's all very intentionally crude and ridiculous, but it works for the game's favor since it doesn't take itself seriously at all. Pretty much all the jokes in the game land very well, and so for all a very fun time. The graphics are good too. They vary greatly in quality, but it's clearly intentional and it works in the game's favor. When the pixel art is meant to look good, it genuinely looks really good. The game also has an original soundtrack that's on Spotify, surprisingly. It's also pretty good, with pretty much every track fitting where it's placed. Honestly, I don't even have much else to say about this game, it's just a really great short comedic RPG. It's currently in both Agent Game Jolt for free, so check it out if you have a few hours. As previously mentioned, it's still in development and there are quite a few unfinished builds, but the parts that are finished are fantastic. So basically just check out this game, it's good.